Welcome and thank you for watching this video. Um, I've been looking at buying a PC and uh, I had a, did a bit of research, um, got some prices and stuff like that, as you do, and I discovered that I could possibly um, build one for cheaper than what I can buy it for in the shops. So uh, after many hours of YouTube watching, thank you YouTube, um, I have sourced some parts that I could put together and make a PC. Okay, so in front of us here, um, I have some new parts and some second hand. The case is brand new, it is an SGK6 uh, ATX mid tower with two fans in the front, LED red I think I picked. The Gigabyte motherboard AB350 Gaming 3 and uh, the Ryzen um, CPU uh, that has the um, um, graphics card built in, they are second hand and that was $330. Then we have, we have some uh, RAM down here, uh, they're the Hyper Savage, uh, that's an 8GB kit, that was that second hand and that was $100. Then we have the um, hard drive Seagate uh, one terabyte that was brand new that's uh, seventy seven dollars forty last we have the power supply um, deep cool five hundred and eighty watts uh, that was forty eight dollars Okay, so these are all the parts that I have. Um, I am going to do a little bit of um, putting together as well, uh, but it's not going to be a tutorial, so it'll probably just be a time lapse thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll put the description and the price of each item, if I haven't done that right, um, in the description down below. So yeah, we'll see when we put it all together. Okay, welcome back then. Um, I didn't make a time lapse video of the build um, because there was um, some issues. I, I bought uh, DDR3 RAM instead of DDR4, not realizing that uh, the motherboard that I bought was DDR4 only. Um, that's obviously an oversight. I didn't realize, didn't quite research that enough, but that's that's what happens. Um, so I, I purchased uh, this DDR4 RAM. Uh, it's eight gig. Uh, one stick, one stick, and it's it was one hundred sixty dollars instead of the the two stick, um, eight gig, uh, hundred dollar one that I bought. Um, yeah, so put that in, and it, it's it's running fine. Uh, the graphics built in graphics card, um, I didn't think was really working properly. Uh, it was it was quite slow, and some things didn't work. So um, I'm not sure whether I didn't set it up correctly or not. Um, I could definitely get on the on to like YouTube and stuff like that and browse and that sort of. And that was fine, but um, games, no, nah, wasn't really working very well as much. So um, I bought uh, just a gigabyte. Um, oops, upside down. Bought the gigabyte um, GeForce XC1050 Ti, and uh, that's pretty good. But that's fifty percent of the budget gone just with that. So that was that was four hundred and fifty dollars. So that was it, and. Um, just uh, as an extra, um, bought um, a Keymaster light uh, mouse and keyboard. So that uh, makes it look pretty cool. So yeah, so that's it's running okay. Uh, can you know, can play Fortnite? It, 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 there's no lag in Fortnite as far as I can tell. I've only had a couple of games, um, uh, but there doesn't seem to be any lag in that. Uh, Minecraft, um, I guess. Yeah, runs flawlessly. Um, everything else seems to be going okay. Um, yeah, so it's definitely cheaper. Def I think it was probably even with that graphics card, it was probably about twelve hundred maybe in the end, something like that. Um, so it's a lot cheaper. Um, that's not and that's even counting the, the um, keyboard and that, not counting the monitors or anything because I already had those. Um, yeah, so um, I'll put some pictures up of my setup um, after at the end of this video. So yeah, I hope you, you enjoyed this video. I hope that it might have convinced you to go and, and do it yourself. Um, if I have made any mistakes or anything like that, um, yeah, leave a comment down the bottom so I might be able to build something better next time. Um, yeah, so 
thank you thank you for watching uh please subscribe and uh yeah leave me some feedback cheers